Hi folks, my name is Lou. I'm here from Paddy Alling Pet Doors and we're here to give you a comparison. We've had a number of questions regarding the differences between our door and one of the other leading pet doors purchased in a leading hardware chain in Australia. So I'm here to show you the differences. First up, you can see that the competitor's door on the right comes in two pieces. And this in itself creates instability in the door. Whereas the Paddy Alling Pet Door you can see comes as one piece and it's a lot more stable in the frame. This has a 28 mil frame compared to a 10 mil frame on our competitor's product. And when I push on the two doors, you can see clearly the difference in the strength of the door. Whereas the competitor's door flexes with very little pressure, the patio link door barely flexes, and I can even tap on it, and it doesn't bend compared to the competitor's door, which bends very easily, which brings me to another point. This can rattle and make noise on a windy day when it's secured in your pet door, in your frame. The next difference we've got is our glass. On the Paddy Pet Door we have a 5mm tempered glass versus a 4mm tempered glass. The 5mm is what you'll typically find in your sliding doors at home, so it's of the same quality. As well as that, you'll notice the profile is different in the frames. Our competitor's door has a square edge and the Paddy Link Pet Door has a moulded edge which will fit directly into your frame of your sliding door securely and snugly and you've got this mohair strip which will create a perfect weather seal. The competitor's door has no seal whatsoever. So now I just want to talk about the flap covers. On the competitor's door you can see we have a soft flap. This particular soft flap is rather noisy. It has a tendency to bend allowing lots of bugs and insects to come through the door as well. Furthermore the flap cover is actually made of plastic and not very secure. With the patio link door, you can see here we have our semi-hard flap option, which folds back and through with virtually no noise whatsoever. It creates a much better seal on the edges, preventing a lot of unwanted guests coming through to the house. The two magnets you see in the corner here are adjustable. You can even remove one if you have a particularly small petite dog where the flap is too solid for it to come through. And we also, also have a semi-soft flap as an option for those customers that prefer that. The patio link pet door comes with a metal cover, which provides a lot more security for your pet door in your home. Okay, so here we have the competitor's door installed in the door frame, which is a typical installation of what you will do at home. As you can see, the door is very loose. There's no way of securing the door because you've got a thin frame here and a wider channel which is what most homes are equipped with. That will blow around freely in the wind and will require some considerable modification in order to secure that door properly. When you're closing your sliding door, there's no way of locking your sliding door to the pet door. There's no provisions provided here to remove your locks and transfer them to this door, as I'll show you in a moment with the patio link door. So that's the best seal you're gonna get. There's no mohair strip or anything to block this gap. So you'll get lots of insects and wind and possibly even water through your door. Furthermore, if you have a fly screen and you want to close that, you have this rather large gap in between, which again will allow insects, bugs and water to come through. And I will show you the alternative with the pet alley pet door and how to secure that in just a moment. So now I'm going to show you how to secure the patio link pet door into place as compared to our competitor's product. I've done exactly the same thing and located the pet door into the bottom channel of the sliding door. I've pushed the top of the pet door into the top channel and the side of the pet door into the side channel. And already you can see how much more securely this door is compared to our previous product which we showed you. Being a thicker frame, it fits into the channel a lot more snugly and has a lot less movement. Furthermore, our competitor's door is not lockable. Patio Link Pet Door can be completely locked into place, so it's a lot more secure. The original locking bracket from your sliding door can be removed. This locking bracket is provided for free with every Patio Link Pet Door. It's secured to the door with three screws into the frame, and your female latch is now secured to the locking bracket, which allows you to now lock your sliding door as originally on your original frame. Our competitor's product does not have that feature. 
Furthermore, I will show you in just a moment how we have an adapter which can also go against your pet door which will allow you to slide a fly screen onto it and secure that in place as well. Okay, for those of you that have a sliding door and a fly screen door, we have what's called an adapter. You can see the adapter in place here. So this no longer requires you to install the locking bracket. You can take your female latch, the original female latch from your sliding door, and now secure this to the adapter. And once again, you can close your fly screen up to the adapter and your sliding door to the pet door, and they can both lock securely. Whereas once again, our competitor's product does not allow you to do that. So you can clearly see the advantage of having an adapter is that you can keep both doors secured in place or you can open your sliding door and allow your fly screen to be fully functional as it was with no gaps between the pet door and the outside and the fly screen, eliminating all insects and pests and water coming through your door. So folks, to conclude, the presentation with the differences on these two doors, you can clearly see the quality difference as we've demonstrated with the stability of the door versus the Padelli pet door. When considering your purchase and your investment, it's important to take these differences into consideration. You're getting a lot more value for your money compared to the cheaper competitor's product. We've had many customers come to us with this cheaper product, complaining that it's either failed or not performing as it should, Customers are not happy with it, parts have broken, and they're unable to get replacement parts. Pedaling pet doors are made right here in the Gold Coast in Australia. It's an Australian family owned business. We have full backup with parts, warranty, and support. Parts are readily available, whereas a competitor's product, there are no parts. If something breaks, this door has to go in the rubbish. Furthermore, as well as this white door you can see before me, Pedaling comes in four standard colours and four standard sizes. We're also the only company in Australia that produces custom sizes so we can accommodate larger dogs, wider dogs, shorter dogs. We can fully customise the door to have lower rises so your dog can climb over the pet door a lot easier. We can accommodate the width and we can accommodate the height of your doors at home. We can also provide a very wide range of custom colours which will allow your pet door to blend seamlessly with your existing sliding door and make it look like a fixture of the house. Thanks for watching this short presentation on Pat Elling Pet Doors. So if you have any further inquiries, if you still have any doubts in your mind about the qualities of our pet door compared to our competitors, feel free to call our award-winning customer service team on 1300 489 424 and we'll be sure to help. Our parts are available 24-7 via email, text or phone call. As soon as we get your message, we'll respond. And we also have technical help available with installers Australia-wide to help you install your pet door in case you're not too handy with the tools. Thanks for watching and we'll have more videos for you shortly.